the D and D channel on Prime. What is that? Oh, where'd my game screen go? There it goes. What is the D and D channel on Prime? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Everybody on the outside and in between, boys and berries, elderberries, raspberries, cherry berries, and whatever you want to call yourself. My name is Patrick. This is the Epic Loop Gaming Channel. And tonight, tonight, this is the makeup stream because I've been vacant. I've been vacant. Been gone. Turned my back on y'all. What's, yeah, but what's the D&D &D channel? And I have Prime. Like, you're going to have to tell me more about that. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm not even mad about that. Not even mad about that. So, I do apologize about the missed streams we had, uh, these last couple streams. Uh, covered some shifts at work, Pops came into town, surprised me, like, it was, it was crazy fun. You know, I do apologize about, uh, not keeping y'all updated on that, but, uh, I'm an asshole. That's just kind of how we do, and I apologize. So, with that being said, we are here tonight because we've got some updates on the things. Some things we need to talk about, some things we need to discuss. First of all, first and foremost, <clears throat> do you like my braid? Do you like my pretty braid? I do. Uh, anyways... I've not streamed either. I've been trying to figure out how to capture retro consoles to stream. It's drive. Oh, that would be hard. What the fuck on some Monty? No, my wife gave me that braid. It's my. It's what I earned from killing the Jedi children. Right. So that's how that works. Anyways, um, so we had some crazy adventures this weekend. I, I got to, like, re meet my little my niece. Um, I, I, I had met her once when she was a small child. She was like forced upon me. I had to hold her. It was really awkward. Um, now she's nine and, uh, they came and stayed the night. My dad, her and, uh, his lady Lori. And, uh, it was cool. She is very cool. Like she, even though she does not like know me and I do not know her, like her and I were like two little peas in a pot. Like we ended up down on the beach and like, we both were just walking with our eyes down in the pebbles looking for cool stuff uh yeah like we just walked for forever um so anyways that was super awesome super cool she's a lot cooler than my sister my sister's a dork man nacho's cool nacho's pretty cool um she puts that on you so other women won't want it <laughs> come on Topher. that's terrible um i picked up a gopro max 360 today for the other channel that way, uh, I'm going to try some 3D footage of when we're, like, hiking and stuff like that. Also, there's something that, uh, something has been kind of bugging me. Something has been a little bothersome I want to bring up. And, uh, that is... How come we're not getting any updates on New Legacy? Have I missed the New Legacy updates, or are we just not getting New Legacy updates? Because... Tis the season for some more information, is what I say, right? <clears throat> Maybe I missed a, like a newsletter or something. I don't know. Oh, go! I just did that. Jesus Christ, Patrick. I would like to know though. Like, I would like to know. I, I, I'm ready. I am ready to accept new legacy into my gaming rotation. But we need to, we need to figure out what's going on with new legacy. All right? Right. Okay. So, we're just going to get that out of the way. So, if anybody has any information or knows knows more information about anything, let me know. Give me some give me some info cuz I am curious as hell and I want to play that game. Or I want to play I want to play it. I want to test it out, see what it's like. And see if it's something that's going to have new player retention. That's what I'm super curious about. Because that is like a huge complaint for this game is new player retention. to break in. I don't even like your name. Your name's complicated, bro. I stopped looking. I've switched life goals to finding the blaze. That's all. That's all this is now. Uh, I've seen that a while. I've seen that white box house is still there. Yeah. Yeah, the white house still here. I mean, back when I lived here, every now and then someone would pop up in like this area and then disappear. I'm really mad that I showed these open spots, Monty, because as soon as I showed them, they got filled over here. These two did. So, and I don't know if I want to take Kyle's spot 
over here. Like, I mean, it's still a good spot. It's just kind of out of the way. Um, but either way, I kind of miss a uh, miss Epic City. Also, uh, do I have a rune to it? Also, I don't know why I do stupid shit like that. Um, why don't why do why don't we live in Sinopolis? Is there we could put a moon gate gate in Sinopolis, and I guarantee you that would be like a thriving little town. So hard to stop playing UO so I can watch you play UO. <laughs> what were you guys doing tonight? You got some iDocs going on, Mikey? Oh, Monty, it's bad. There's a lot of empty spaces. What's that shit? Oh, painting. It's very, very, very empty. Okay, hold on. One in Zento smoking. It's easy to stop playing you. I have to deal with real life and I have zero time. That's not an answer. Or that's not a... Monty. That's that's not a... That's not a thing. That's not a thing. You don't get to make that, that, that call. Do we need to rig the next game time giveaway so that you win it so you can play? Oh, look at these naked assholes. Do something with your Luna houses. Freaking buttholes. Sorry, just make. I like to make the lap. I like to see if there's what's changed, what's been added. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, Monty, our old house. Oh, all right, all right. Very interesting, very interesting. All right, I'm going to go see how we fare in New Haven here shortly. But first, is it expensive? I don't play. It's not. Hey, you owe is worth five minutes of your time. <laughs> um, yeah, there are free servers. Mikey and uh, Perry play on a free server. There's, it's like twelve ninety nine a month to play. I'd, Tris, you, I don't think you, I think you would hate it personally, but that's just me. That's just me thinking out loud. I don't know if you have it in you. Also, if you're not aware, we have a, uh, a mix up in the governor, the governor seat. Uh, there will no longer be the devil. The devil has moved moved on to bigger and better things in life. His replacement, however, a seasoned veteran, someone we're all very familiar with. But it's not my place. Let's see here. So we're still in challenging and optimal for these for these guys. So I'll take that. We'll work on these dudes for a little bit here. Who left? I missed that. Oh, oh, the devil, Jeff. No, he didn't do a whole lot. He just sat there and made us all a little, a little eerie. He just, he said creepy devil things. That was kind of his goal. Speaking of Jeff, Jeff. You'll never guess who I met in Brookings, Oregon this weekend. The one, the only, Jeff, Batman, the devil. That's right. Met him, I met his wife, and I met another Sonoma player who lives in Brookings. That's the craziest part to me is another, not that the fact that there's another UO player that lives here, but another Sonoma player that lives here in Brookings, I believe... I believe Silent Death is his name. That's, if I recall, Silent Death. Anyways, met them, met Jeff, met his wife. It's amazing people. Amazing people. It was really cool to... to oh, what the hell is going on with my equipment? Oh, we're just going to throw this on the ground, I think, then, right? Or should I go repair it? Shit, i got to go repair it. Jeff is going to help me get my Phoenix... Ron's still around. Not, yeah, Ron's still around. They're all still around. They're all still around. Yeah. Hold on. We're going back to Luna really quick because we're going to mooch off the kindness of others and get our stuff repaired here.
because I don't want to break this bow. It's got some good swing speed. But yeah, I thought that was cool. Also, I now have Jeff's cell phone number, so I send him nudes on the daily. No! Ah, I hate that! Get me off of there. Just letting you guys know that's a thing now. All right, let's fix this. Fix it. Snoob it. Per what do you mean? Fix it. Thank you. Jesus. That's good. How are these? How are my pantaloons? My pantaloons are good. How are my booties? Booties is good. This is as good as it's going to get. Jesus H. Would I just not repair the bow, or does that bow just take some super-ass fucking damage? Um, I quit all gaming. UO gone. RuneScape gone. I don't play Blood Bowl. I had not... I had not been playing UO regularly for decades, but this free server got me interested again. Just a pure Vegemite diet. <laughs> I think there's a place here in town that sells that junk. Vegemite or whatever the hell that shit is. I'm not interested in that, man. That looks... I've heard stories about that. It's just pretty much the ground up kangaroo nuts. Is that right? Ground up kanga testes. You know what's crazy? It's telling me that these elementals are still decent for training right now, especially at my amazingly high skill level of AD archery. Yeah, you alive, no PE fest skills. Oh, Jesus, I got stuck. I don't know if I'd call you alive how you owe is. There's definitely... There's not a lot of... Well... There's no fell. There's fell. That's my... That's my stitch... That's my... My... My, my issue with that place. My biggest issue is... There's fell... But it's not fell. It's just another... It's just another place you go. Like, does that make sense? That is the one thing I'm like, ugh, kind of bothers me. If I go to Fell, I want that, I want that feeling of, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. I can't try it, Mikey. I'm sure Perry's told you that I won't try it. As long as retail's alive, I won't try it. It wouldn't be fair. What if I fall in love with it, man? And then what? Then I just abandon everything I've known my whole life? I can't do that. I think my wife's home. My dogs are barking. And not my feet hurt. So... I've had some interesting experiences at work over the course of the last couple of weeks. I've had to get had to get verbally violent with people. I don't like having to do that shit, but man, people are just fucking pricks. Like I am so tired of people. I loved you oh pre trammel but three years yeah. PKers, like oh, that's the problem, is there's always like somebody who's gonna spoil it. But, yeah, that's the downside, really. And, um, the fuck was that? I just heard a weird-ass sound, and it scared me a little bit, but I'm a big boy, and I'm, I'm just going to be okay. I'm going to be okay with it. I made friends with PKs. always had a gank squad on my fingertips. Monty, I will tell you from what I've watched of Perry's content at the KS Fixit Man Gaming Channel, there is a lot of people on you alive because obviously, like, it's just one server, um, and there is always stuff going on. They have, I think, what I like the most about what they have is how they do their eye docs, probably. Bro, that guy was very challenging. It's the biggest... Yeah, Perry plays UO Life too. His, Go to his YouTube channel. He literally has videos he puts out all the time about it. It's, it's impressive. I think Mikey does too. I think Mikey has a YouTube channel that he puts info out on. Perry, if you're watching, send the thing. Best viewers on whatever that is. No, I don't... Ah. Don't anybody click that, whatever that link is right there. Because I feel like that is porno. 
Thank you, thank you, Perry. Mikey has a YouTube too. Yeah, per Perry, link your guys' YouTubes. Like Perry's is KS Fixit Man Gaming. And I can't remember what Mikey's is. I'm sub to both of them. But Perry puts out enough content to like definitely give you an idea of what UO Live would be like. I'll tell you that much. Bro, why are you swinging like that, baby? Oh, thank you. <laughs> John, <laughs> I just missed your uh, pure caca comment. You know, to each their own, to each their own. I, I stick by the fact that it may not be retail, but at least everybody's playing you woe. Yeah, he's even been stepping it up on his thumbnails, Mikey. Bro, hit this bitch. Come on. Thank you. Why I oughta see that wind up? <laughs> Don't do that in a fight, because you're going to get one of those really fast right into your dome if you do the wind up. Just like going to pop you in the nose. Oh, 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 oh. I'm old, faster skill game sold me. He's actually getting good at it. You know, this is my problem. Oh, gains the skill gains, yeah. Yeah, go try it out, Mike or Monty. You know, that's this is the thing. And what I do like about free servers is that when people don't have the time or the money to play or pay or whatever, this is a good way for them to get their UO fix, I guess. But the best part is, it's always going to bring you back to retail. Monty better guest star in a Perry video. I'm literally, I'm literally aligning the stars right now for Perry to do something amazing. Better not, better not let me down, lover boy. This is going to be big. This is going to be big. There it is. There it is. If anybody wants to check out you alive, let me pin that message up there. Meep. Check out Perry's gaming channel there. Error 404. Let's check it out ourselves. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, you know what? I bet it is. I bet it's the at. Let's look. Oh, no. It says we have deleted this channel. It says this channel was found uploading pornography. KS fix it man again yeah, I don't know what happened what happened Parer 404 <laughs> wah, wah. here we're just gonna do it like this we'll do it this way wait how do we do it I'm gonna pop over here really quick let me open up my schnoobel grab a double there oh wait he fixed it he fixed it there we go he fixed it boys go check out Perry's channel you can see uh, make sure you give him a sub too. subscribe to that it's free it's free and it's good for your soul Okay, so we're going to check out the forum tonight. I kind of grazed through Reddit. There wasn't anything super great on there. A few little things here and there. Reddit's mostly, in my personal opinion, a lot of like non-retail talk, which that's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. Saw the ugly man in the profile pic. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. This is a 29 months Perry. Oh, Perry. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the sub. Um, that means I get to eat a bean. For anybody wondering what that means. Bean. Oh, wait. Is that What's the command? Beans? There we go. Beans. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm getting my ass. Oh, God, sweet Jesus. Damn, 29 months. Eat a bean. Eat a bean. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Someone get that freaking hydrate ready. Okay. Oh, God, just opening this thing stunk. All right, so I already know what this is. This is pear, or this is supposed to be either pear or booger. P 
hair or booger? There's Bear. There's Bear. Oh, Bear came in big with the hydrate too. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Woo! Oh! It is not often. I think they stack. I think they stack these things to actually have more nasties than good ones because I rarely get a good one. I'm not going to lie, Monty. There is one. Hold on. Um... Shit. I can't remember if it's the liver and onions and cappuccino or the dead fish and strawberry banana smoothie, but the taste is very similar between the two. So <laughs> I didn't mind either of them really. I was like, all right, yeah, I can eat that. There would be no drama with too many good ones. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. It would take away the whole aesthetic of the thing. Chocolate or dookie? <laughs> Uh, liver and onions. I grew up on that. What's wrong with that? Well, this isn't the Depression. Well, I guess you guys didn't have the Great... Did you guys have the Great Depression down there in Australia? Or are you guys just living rich on kangaroo tails and guananards? Do people still say nards, by the way? It didn't show, but I resub... Oh, you did? I see. Yeah, I see, see, I see. Thank you, Mikey. Hold on, give me one second here. Yeah, your, your icon just popped up for me. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh, shit. Okay. Is this one? And it's either boo berry blue or toothpaste. Bro, please be berry blue. Oh, that's... How did it make toothpaste taste bad? Oh my god, dude. It's like I ate an ultra mint. Thank you. Ah, thank you. So I feel like what they did was they took toothpaste and then mixed it with like the taste of a toilet bowl. Like you're, oh, that's going to be there. That should not be that bad for toothpaste. I feel it on my breath, Mikey. Patrick called, oh no, Triss is, Triss is in here. She'll all get in trouble if I call in sick. Bro, what the hell? I can't... can't sit... I don't want to say what it tastes like. But it reminds me of my... It's kind of reminding me of my wild past right now. You should. That's yeah. See exactly, Monty. That's what I'm saying. Like worst case scenario, at least you're still playing Ultima Online, right, or some form of. Interesting taste in my mouth, for sure. I haven't been collecting gold or arrows like I told you guys I was going to either. Just for the record, and I'm an asshole for that. I had no intention of playing again, but fell in love with. See, that's. It would be really funny. Tristan, it would... We have important things to do tomorrow. It would not be funny. And I'm not going to lie. This is what I feel. I feel like... Damn, how did that give me acid indigestion? Um, I feel like always... The road always leads back to retail at some point. That's... I just feel... Even if not right now, even if not in four or five years, the road always leads back to retail. Oh, yeah, I did... Hold on, what? A joke? It's because retail is home? Yep. I don't want to be fired. 
No one played a gray shard when they were a teenager. They don't have the attraction to their home shard. That's see, like I'm confused about this is what I'm confused about, and I'm this isn't any I can't remember the name of the shard. But I keep seeing these like ads for this shard that comes up and it's like um UO's longest run UO's longest running free shard. And it's like almost as old as the actual game. Does that mean that like as soon as the game came out, someone was like Someone did that? Like we had free servers way back then? Why do I feel the toothpaste in the back of my skull? That's interesting. I was paying $45 per month to log in once a month to annoy Patrick with an arrow up the ass. Well, and you were keeping your houses. Did you at least pull the shit out of your houses and um, uh, put it in your bank? Streamer passes over. Yeah. <clears throat> the toothpaste in my cerebral cortex now. It's all I can feel and taste. Everything's banked good. Yeah, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. I, for one, I will have an active account until the day that retail servers are turned off. Well, probably two, because I have this account, which is my main account, and then I have the vet account that I refuse to turn off because I don't want it to miss any months. Alright, let me take out these two suckers right here. What did... Okay, thank you. Focus your damage, bro. And then we're going to do a quick hop over to the forums. Hi, baby. What are you doing? You going to bed? Yep. I love you. I love you. What'd you have to eat? What the fuck? I could taste them. Where'd you get them? Did you bring me some? No. Baby, those tasted delicious. Your kiss tasted like tacos. Very nice. Come here, one more. Were they carne asada? Yeah. Damn, babe. Yeah, I'm okay, I had like <laughs> Mikey wants a kiss too. With yeah, I could. T it's you. I've never been so attracted to you before in my life as I am right now. I love you. Good night. Oh my god. That was heavenly. My wife tasted like street tacos. <laughs> Tell you what, Mikey. She's pretty okay for a girl, dude. Oh, I don't know why I do this every time. I go running up here like an idiot, like I'm going to do something. Or I'm just going to Luna. Actually, you know what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, I taste those tacos. Damn. They had a girls' night, her and her friend. They had like a rough day at work, so. They went to her house and made tacos, apparently delicious. Cilantro and carne asada tacos. That's okay. I'll survive. I'll survive. Okay. Don't tell Patrick, but I only watch his north for her smile. <coughs> well, just wait, Mikey. I don't know if you were paying attention at the beginning of the stream, but we just picked up a... Uh, I bought a used GoPro uh, Max 360, so here's my thing. This is what I'm going to shoot for, right? Like, if I get it at the right angle, I want to get the full view of everything around us plus her butt. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. All right. Now, with that being said, oh, yeah, so long story short, um, one of my viewers, he, he was in my last video, wait, my video before last is when I was at the Azalea Festival. He was the guy that was standing in line. And he's like, hey, I watch your videos. Anyways, that's just crazy. But I sent this person a message because they had a used GoPro Max 360. And I was like, hey, how much? I'd really like to try this out. And he's like, oh, you're the YouTube guy. He's like, for you, 150. And I was like, all right, cool. I met him up, met up with him today. I was checking it out. Apparently, his wife found it on the beach like two years ago. She posted it in all like the Brook, Brookings, like, pages facebooks and stuff no one's ever claimed it they had no use for it so uh, they put it up for sale it's a little i would say worse for wear like it works it's totally functional it's just it's not taken care of like my gopros are but 
it is going to make for some crazy awesome footage because I was looking at what you can do with them. And the, if you get the angle right and the stitch for the 3D or the stitch for the 360 um, will kind of be down at the bottom of your screen. You can get some cool, cool, cool footage. So, oh, and also I'm going to put it in my mouth and I got kind of <laughs> with it in my mouth. So be prepared for that. Will they have cost me a lot? Yeah, girls are crazy. You got to watch out for them. I shouldn't say that out loud. All right. Let's go over to the browser really quick, shall we? Oh, hey, look. Here's a look at my life. Any porn on here? What do I got? Anything bad? Wow. Good. All my bad stuff's hidden. You guys can't see it. <laughs> Just joking. I don't have any bad stuff. Oh, uh, here we go, boys. So, I'm popping right over into the forums, all right? We're going to do a quick refreshy here. Oh, and just for anybody who's curious, the reason I say, hey, guys, send me the links you want me to check out in DMs, it's not because I want to send you a reply with my feet pics. It's because I don't want it to, like, spark unnecessary trolling or anything. So that's that's the only reason behind that. So anyways, so what we got here. Spirit speak area heals. Seems legit. Had an idea that necro speak. Oh, necro spirit speak could be used as an area heal. That way you could heal your skeletal dragons and allies in combat. Or at the very least, maybe have a spirit speak be able to heal the necro skeletal dragons. Target or area spirit speak to heal undead minions would be fun. They're super weak compared to other. Okay, okay. These guys, these guys are vibing. They're vibing. We're not going to derail that. Tra no, wait, test center transfers are down for a long time? I don't care about that. Arena fixes. No. Gargoyle. Pet request? What the fuck do you want, you flappy bastard? Uh, please allow gargoyles only to use the fire beetle as a portable soul forge and or please introduce a new pet attribute of a different pet that would convey soul forge to a gargoyle. Thanks. P.S. Feel free to move this to a bug's request form. A gargoyle can't use a fire beetle. They want to have it work. Okay, why? Why would the... F why? Why would they get that? What why is that? <clears throat> what am I missing that gargoyles don't get from soul forges that we do? Uh, our humans and elves do. Ah, uh, sure, why not? I always... I will always use the queen's soul forge. I wouldn't know how to imbue a reforge without the crash I always get right before I click the OK button. Jesus Christ. How about a simple no? Damn, Frodo. That was a little, a little savage, my guy. Uh, kegs of fortified fight. Jesus, what are wrong with me? Hold on. I'm going to take two steps back. Give me one second. What is wrong with my words? I can't articulate well today. Yeah, Frodo got a little snappy on that one. Okay, kegs of fortifying powder. Should they really be reusable indefinitely, question mark? As we know, the kegs to hold up to 250 fortifying, fortifying power are a reward from Tinker Bods. Now when empty, they do not poof and then get reused indefinitely. So they become more and more and more, eventually making them so many that the point of getting them from Bods becomes pointless as already too many of them exist. Shouldn't they then perhaps be changed so that they get, upon being generated as a reward, a limited life, such as to hold 250 charges, or when emptied out of those 250 charges, they go poof, making it again, making it again sense to keep doing bods to get them. After all, the bottles that hold 10 charges of powder are fortifying when their 10 charges expire, they go poof. Why shouldn't cakes also go poof? I don't hate that idea. I don't hate that. The rare pops thread that Jack didn't show up for. Never done a bod. Yeah, I've only, I've done a few bods. Okay, back when they first introduced them and everybody was doing them to get like the cool colored cloth, I was addicted and I was doing as many as I could to get all the cool colored cloth I could. Um, if it bothers you, <coughs> if it bothers you, toss yours when empty. I mean, yeah, you'd get points for it, right? You get some points for it. Uh, in my opinion, this idea makes very little sense. If you have powder keg, maybe two. You just don't claim anymore. You just you just claim powder to keep filling them. They're only a reward if you choose to claim one. Yeah, very true. 
And even if you sell them on a vendor, you won't claim one unless the vendor has sold one. I fail to see how there would be a... Yeah, okay, I get what they're saying. They're like, if you don't like it, get rid of them or quit claiming them, pretty much. Wait, wait, what happened? Where is UK Jack when we need him? Yeah, let's see here. I'm just going to see if I can find him. I feel like he got banned. No. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, here we go. From our community manager. Ninja squirrel made. Now and try to become a now to try and become a squirrel. Start grinding, Monty. All right, let's see here. Where were you when this was released? World of Ultima Online. It's more than a fantasy because it really exists. It's more than a game because it never ends. This is 1998. I was 15 years old. I was in chat rooms, cyber sexing. And it's a giant leap beyond anything you've ever seen before. Look at that monitor! To begin, create your own character and choose your appearance. Play whatever role you want. From wizard to... Also, can I just say I feel like this is like blatantly stolen content at this point? Like... Maybe they, maybe they own the rights to this. Maybe I shouldn't say that. This just feels like... Uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is weird. Like, is there anything else to go along with this? Oh. We invite you and sev Look. What? How do you... You don't add... Enter. I don't... I do not like that. I do not like that. That's not... Uh, I mean, whatever. Mm. Yeah. All right, where were we? Where were we? Never saw it. Seven hours old. I was working outside. Wow. Jesus Christ, you guys. Can't you read? Wow, well, never saw that. I was living in Vermont on a dirt road in Green Mountains where dial-up was a luxury and I had it. Okay. A little let me down here. The video was supposed... Oh, the video was supposedly contained on a CD that came with a magazine called Next Generation in April of 1998. Thank you for pointing that out, Sybil. I didn't see any references in the magazine, but that doesn't mean much. I remember back when the CDs came with magazines and all the kids. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember I played Heretic like a madman. Heretic. Heretic. Uh, April 98. I was in a rent house that was flooded. What? Bro, they're not asking you what you were doing. I was chasing that dollar and playing the original Ultima games. Okay. You know what? You guys are taking, you guys are, that wasn't really, that wasn't a fun thread at all. They're not asking what you were doing in 1998. She wanted to know if, well, maybe she was. I don't even know anymore. Reporting the scripter. Let's see. Uh, genuine questions. How many times do you have to report an unattended scripter before action is taken? I reported the scripter four times, and the same character with the same exact gear keeps returning to the spot to do his or her thing. Way to keep it gender neutral. I was there one time when a GM popped up. The GM actually tried to converse with the scripter and got the same response I had. Namely, absolutely nothing. And the character got whisked off. However, next day, he or she was at it again. How many warnings do you need? How many... How many times do I have to report the same person? Is it a dev side hustle? A corrupt GM? Jesus Christ. Um, this thread and people arguing about whether or not GMs appear was so... Yeah, this, I was going to wonder if they actually got sidetracked on that. Um, because I've never actually seen a GM pop up. Uh, they give them multiple chances to respond. Even after they whisk them away and take them to jail in Buck's Den, they leave them there and ask multiple times before they ban them. As long as they reply before the ban hammer drops, they'll be okay, although there may be a note placed on the account. This is just a speculation on my part. Sure. Sure, victim. 
you've only been part of this game for your most of your adult life, bro. I'm sure this is just speculation. Um, uh, if they wait before being taken to jail to respond. End of the day, as long as they reply before the time's up, they get sent on their merry way. Is this right or wrong? I don't make that decision, but that's the way it was told to me by an EA employee a while back. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, Rorschach. Several... This is what I feel like his voice is. <clears throat> Several posts and replies have been removed due to personal attacks and baseless conjecture. Please stop. Please review the terms of service. This sort of behavior will be actioned if it does not cease. That's how I feel Rorschach talks. Anyways, fuck you, Rorschach. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean that. Didn't mean that. I'm sure you're nice he or she. My bad. You and I just have some bad blood. Should I show the DMs? No, I won't show the DMs. <clears throat> Adding my few cents here. A couple of useful posts in this thread are removed because they were starting stating the inconvenient truth about the issue in the game. Apparently saying more than this will get me banned from here. What? Yeah, you were stating conspiracy theories? Wait, wait, wait. Now they're... What? Uh, wait, hold on. You get a three-day ban and a mark. Not sure how many marks it takes for permaban. Don't ask me how I know. I know how you know. Shotgun has announced he's quit like four times. Just go already. What's... What's, uh... Why are they policing, like, conspiracy theories? That's kind of weird. Anyways, I mean, the guy that says he quit and still posts here, and we all... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know some of those guys. Um, what'd Kevin have to say here? Assuming you aren't trolling, the question is a bit loaded because there are several things in the factor to factor in the players do not know. First thing is whether or not a GM is even online, because depending on the time you report something, there might not even be anyone to look at it. You won't really know this. We all know what time the GMs. Anyways, uh, if there's a GM on, like you said, you saw. Bro, why would you throw that out there? Why would you shade on him like that? Like, if, if, like you said, you saw lion ass bitch, lion ass, lion ass, lion bitch. That's pretty much the vibe I got from that right there. Um, they could be taking, they could be talking to them through the GM chat, which is like a guild channel chat that you won't see. You won't know this. The GM could also be hidden in front of you and you won't know. You also won't know the level of convo that happens. I've heard saying hello is sometimes counted as attended. Even if the GM takes the person away to jail, as Vic said, they still have a chance to respond there in bucks. You won't know this even if you're on bucks because you can't see the convo in jail. Assess. Assess. <laughs> Passive aggr oh, passive aggression in action. I got that. I got that. Uh, even if the GM... Okay, we read that one. If all of the above fail and the person is deemed to be unattended macroing note, I don't think this action scripters, but they do action unattended macroing. Then they get booted, but there are several chances. I've heard three strikes, but also heard strikes fall off after time. You won't know how many strikes are... Okay. So that is, a, that is, an, that is an interesting thing, because I used to do unattended macroing. Where I would take something heavy, like, oh, uh, shit, what was I using back in the day? I feel like I had, like, a weight or something. Anyway, something, you know, that I could put on my keys, and I would just set up a macro, and I would just spam that shit. Like, that's how I got into my whole, you know. Anyways, I don't think that should be, I don't know, I don't know if unattended macroing should be bad or, like, frowned upon. That's just me, though. Uh, what's Covenant have to say? Hey, don't waste our time. Yeah, it does send that vibe, doesn't it? Wait, what What I miss here? Oh, I missed the end of Kevin's post. Uh, that said, I thought it was very curious that the last newsletter received basically said that if people are paging too much, those people paging will get actioned. I get where it's coming from, like don't waste our time, but at the same time, if, it, if the policing is half-assed, then I can see the conspiracy theory there. Hey, don't waste our time. Yeah, it does send that vibe. I never kind of, uh, huh, okay. You know, if there's ever an example of a legit player being actioned for paging a GM on a suspected cheater, that'll be the day that leads you to being shut down. I don't think so. 
that'll be the day that leads to UO being shut. Who's going to sh- stop it? Uh, the fact of the matter is it shouldn't require a player to page a GM to investigate cheating. It should be detectable. As Masana once said it was, they know there are people using <laughs> Orion client. They know there are people using Razor and... That's one I don't know. Razor and something. That usually do nothing until another player brings it to their attention. And even then most... What the fuck do you want them to do? They can... Ba- Bro, they don't have the force. They don't have the workforce to tend to us 24-7. This isn't Blizzard. This isn't This isn't a giant corporation. This is... Y'all, they're doing what they can to keep the game afloat for us. That's the vibe I get right now. So shut up. Shut up with that covenant. And Kevin getting all sassy. Um, power progression of a nearly 30-year-old game should allow for skill macroing. I agree. That or add content for low-level players. I think that's why they rarely care about the skill gain macros. That's, you know, that's that's true. Like, I think it's just, like, okay. Back in the day, it was fun to level up. Like, you had power hour. You had, um, you know, a lot of people playing. You had things to do with everybody all the time. Nowadays, it's become very isolated. Leveling has just become something you bust out as fast as you can. You go to the spots you know are going to give you the best gains, or you macro it, or whatever it may be. And, I mean, I know that was going on back in the day, but it just was so much more fun to just genuinely level up and get your gains normal and go go bust out power hour and just, you know, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> All right, blatant scripter. Dude, we've been reporting a blatant exploiter user that has had Monopoly on Atlantic housing market for more than a year, and they are not even bothered to take a look at it. At this point, I'm 100% convinced conspiracy theories out there are all true. What? Great Lakes, Jam Pen. Same player there for weeks, taming bulls, nothing done. Huh. Well, this is getting a little sassy. Personally, I think this is a line of bullshit. GMs are hidden to everyone, but the person they are talking to and the conversation... That's not true. I've seen a GM pop up. I was being nice and left that part out, but yeah, you'll never see or hear a GM when they are doing their job unless we are the only... Unless we are the... We are the one they are doing... I mean... Don't... It's fun for me to find ways to AFK macro. (laughs) You can macro and you are alive. Yep, yep. So that housing thing connects to some Stratix threads, but I can't remember them all. What, um, I don't get, I'm not sure if I understand this. Why are they upset that the, they, this guy's saying he saw a GM and they don't like that? Like, that makes no sense to me, but, okay. No bullshit, GM was visible, froze the scripter's character, started asking questions which were visible on screen. Character didn't respond, GM took him away, GM never spoke to me. I got the automated message after that that the case would be looked into. Shrug, but sure, call it bullshit. What am I supposed? Yeah, yeah, like that's a weird thing. I don't know. What are these people saying this for? What if the GM wanted to be like, hey, here I am, motherfucker? Um, interesting. What is this? Edited, edited your shit out. Interesting. Well, <coughs> <coughs> Why can't we just stay on track with these threads? Why are they literally complaining about something so stupid? <gasps> Thank you to the devs. Cookie. I'm a very happy mage right now. Myself and my two sons are about to be playing on identical mages. And damn, they look good. What you may or may not realize is every single part of the crystal ball concept is something I have been asking the devs for a long time. I asked for off-hand mage designs, especially the crystal ball, to replace mages having to wear shields. I asked for the transmog concept to switch the stats off shields onto the orbs. And I asked for this parry mage shield. Yes, the devs tweaked my concept a bit, but they got it right. And I like, to, I like the store gray robe, the runic design on it. It looks very cool for a mage. What is that fucking robe, bro? What, if I was really being picky, I'd ask for a quiver redesign now? Who's this? 
I've never seen a game where the GM tells the reporter what decision was made. And yeah, I've never actually seen that either, unless it like involved like someone's account, like hey, we got your account back or whatever. I'm confused about this post a little bit, honestly. Here, oh, he's re we're replying to ourselves. Um, what? Man, you're a beast. Keep fighting the good fight, and pure mages everywhere. Okay, thank you. I will. You aren't alone. I loot all mage scrolls on all on the three shards I live on. I do put them in the description box. I also use them. Like, I get suggesting ideas, but did they really just, like, take this dude's ideas and roll with them? Because that's sick if they did. I mean, <laughs> that's sick. That's what I'm confused about, not the actual concept of what he's talking about. Um, you know what I want to do really quick? We're going to scan... Okay, we're going to scan the website here in a moment for a very important piece of information and see if we can find it. But I want to read this one last post here. Shard shield questions. Well, happy 14th to me, so how does it work getting back from one shard to my home shard? Transfer tokens are one way. You need to take a token for your home shard with you so you can return. So I need one shield for origin and one for Baja to move back and forth. Yes, you would need a shield for both shards. Thank you for your info. Okay. I'm going to... I'm just going to exit out before it gets nasty because I'm maybe it did who knows anyways we're just going to do this really quick okay we're going to go to the home page here we go on the top of the page it has this link for Ultima Online New Legacy okay let's see here let's see here This has, does not look like it's been updated since it originally has been put out. I don't see any notes saying it was updated. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter. We need some updates. I'm ready. I'm juicing. I'm juicing for some updates, boys. We need to get some updates on this. We need to get some freaking uh, some new legacy out because I am ready. I am ready for this. But I don't like that we have, like, swag store there. I don't know. Come on. We need some new legacy updates. That's what I'm waiting for. Uh, I wish he listed where and how to get those items because I was so confused. Mage orbs, I guess. Transmog item. Yeah, didn't they say it was coming? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, that was the hype. It's June. I thought, call me crazy, but I thought we were getting a June release. Like, that's what I thought. Maybe we're not. Maybe it was a haha. -ha. But I think it's time to get some information out if they have it, possibly. I mean, even going over to the Facebook page and the YouTube channel, they don't really have any information there on it of what's going on. Um, so it would be nice to get some information, get some word out there, get the juices juices flowing again, because it's, it's, it's to the point now where I've noticed conversations about it have turned from, um, like, oh, yeah, you know, okay, let's try it. It's going to be new. We, hey, we didn't ask for this, blah, 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 to literally, is this real? Like, are we going to really get this? What's going on? You know, I've talked to some people who have done some testing on it. I know it's real. I know it's real. So, yeah, we'd like to check it out. You want to check out the swag store? It was a little disappointing. Not going to lie. We're going to shop all swag. Like, I feel like they could do more with this. Hey, that's the poster I have that's signed by the devs. Huh? <laughs> That's funny. They got face masks, bro? Man. I'm not going to lie, that UO swag, that puts off, like, uh, MySpace vibes for some reason. I'm getting MySpace vibes from that. Yeah, Slim Pickens. You actually can find a metric shit ton of UO stuff on Etsy. It's not licensed, obviously, but just throwing that out there. So, anyways... With that being said, I think we're going to call it for the night. Um, I am going to go down and pester the crap out of my wife before she falls asleep. But let's see who we have to raid, shall we? Is Waffles or anybody on? Let's see here. Following. We have Typical Gamer, Moist Critical, Leak Beats. Huh. Well, that's a little sad. 
you know what you guys can go enjoy yourself some critter vision we're gonna get that raid started now i appreciate y'all for watching tonight i appreciate everybody hanging out with me um i do apologize for the streams i missed we'll get caught back up on everything this week I'm going to do some off-stream work on the Archer, which I don't like doing necessarily, but I'm going to get some work done on him so that by the time the next EM events roll down, roll out, that is who I will be having out there. Anyways, um, oh, it looks like we got a possum and a raccoon, and I can't tell what else is there. But enjoy. Have an epic night, y'all.